So today we're going to be doing a very simple project for the mini and all you're going to need for it is some cardboard and scissors or tin snips and a little bit of sheet aluminum and what we're going to be doing is making a cooling duct for the underside of the car that is going to take cool air and angle it up towards the power steering pump. If you have a Mini, you probably know what your power steering pump is, an electric pump, and because it's electric, it has a fan right in front of it, and that is going to keep it cool. The problem is that fan can fail, and they fail somewhat regularly, but you have no warning that it is not turning anymore. So if it stops turning and your power steering pump overheats, it's a very expensive and obnoxious fix. This almost free vent that we're gonna make today is going to give you a nice little bit of insurance so that if the fan does fail, you'll still get airflow over your power steering pump and keep it cool until you can replace the fan. Like any duct or vent, this is a pretty simple concept. I'm just using sheet aluminum to change the direction of the air under the car. I don't have this down very far. It's not any further down than any of the other plastics on the car. So if I hear a plastic scraping, I know this might be in danger but I'm making it out of extremely thin aluminum. It's only slightly thick, thicker than what you would have on like a Coke can. So that way, these two little tabs will tear off before this does any damage to the fan. I actually had this happen. I had to get the car towed because I had an oil line blow. And when I got it towed, this was torn off the bottom of the car. So that's why I'm remaking it. And when it did, it did exactly what I wanted to. It tore off right here, tore these two tabs off, the rest of it folded backwards, and did zero damage to the fan. So the way I went about making this is I went under the car, I took some measurements, and then I love using cereal boxes because it's a very thin, easy to cut cardboard. I can write on it super easy, I can draw on it, and it makes a great template. So this is my detailed template. So these are all in centimeters. So you've got 1.5 centimeters squared here, and you've got a little hole, which you'll draw a hole in the center of for the two Phillips head screws that hold towards the front. And then you've got a larger hole back here where you've got two bolts that are gonna go through it that are there to mount the fan. So you're going to sandwich this between the nuts that are holding the fan on and the fan itself. You've got 10 centimeters forward, 15 and a half at the front, and 13 and a half in the rear, so it does widen a little bit as you go forward. These two holes are 10.75 centimeters apart, center to center. This little angled part here, which does have a little bit of a bend to it, but not much, is 2.5 centimeters deep, and then your hole width here is gonna be 12.5 from front to back. You've got 6.25 from your bend line here up to the tip, and eventually when you fold everything up, this is what you're gonna be left with. These two tabs up here do fold in. The instinct would be to fold them out, but they fold in, and you can get your two Phillips head screws in there. On the back here, on one side, which I believe is the driver's side, you're gonna have to put a nut on to bolt the fan down, then stick this over the stud and put another nut on it. This side, just one nut. It will get squished down a little bit, but these are at different levels, and that levels it out as best it can. As you'll see when we get under the car, it's extremely stiff, even though it is going to be made out of very thin aluminum. So all you have to do is design this shape. I would, again, even though I've done all the measuring for you, transfer this to some cardboard, fold it up, test fit it on your car, make sure everything matches exactly the same way, figure out where to put these holes on these tabs so that you're not really trying to stretch anything out. You want it to be nice and centered as best you can. Then you can transfer it over to aluminum, make sure it still works, and then bolt it onto the car. My fan is still working. One way you can test that is if your car is on and your AC is running, this fan should also be running. If your fan is not running, it is likely damaged. It could be a fuse. It could be that the fan is seized. It could be any number of problems. They're pretty cheap and easy to replace, and people have done a lot of research on alternatives for that fan. So a ball fan, but that's a different part number. That's essentially identical. There's a lot of different ways around getting a cheap fan for this car, but this scoop will do just one little extra bit of security to make sure you're getting cool air, especially in like a track type scenario where you're putting a lot of strain on the car. If the fan fails in the middle of a track session, this will keep it alive until you can get back to the pits and find out that there is a problem. Whereas if it fails in the middle of a track session, you might kill your power steering pump if you're on a track that has a lot of turns and you're really putting it through its paces. So this very cheap and easily made scoop could be the thing that saves you hundreds of dollars in the end as you avoid replacing a power steering pump.
I just wanted to give one good close-up of the diagram so you guys could easily copy over that onto your own cardboard. Here you can see my vent underneath the car. So it's attached at four different locations. You have two here at the front with these Phillip head screws are on either side of the fan and then two 13 millimeter nuts at the back that go into studs. One side is mounted lower than the other. So what you're gonna have to do on the passenger side of a car is put a nut on the stud and then another nut on top of the fan shroud. And on this side, you can just use the one nut like normal. I've made it out of extremely thin sheet metal so that if it gets caught on anything, if I have an off-road excursion on track or something, this will easily tear off. These two little tabs right here aren't particularly strong, so if they get caught on something, they'll rip off before they damage the fan. But it's definitely sturdy enough that it doesn't really move with airflow. So even at higher speeds, it, it's still got plenty of strength to keep the air flowing in the direction I need it to. I've been running this for about a year now, and I've had zero issue with any sort of debris getting scooped up into the fan. But it should definitely work as a great insurance policy in the event that the fan fails, and I'm not aware of it. And while no, it will not save me in something like a parking lot or traffic, it will definitely work well as long as the car is moving. So daily driving or track driving, it should not be a time when I kill the pump. It'll be something like a large traffic jam. But hopefully I will have figured out that the pump is dead before something like that happens. Well, hopefully some of you will find that interesting and helpful, and it'll be something that you can use on your car. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those down below. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.